Hey, what's going on everybody? Back with another how-to. Today, we're gonna to be doing the passenger window regulator and motor on this 2015 Chevy Camaro. Now, this should fall in line with any fifth gen Camaro, which is 2010 to 2015. And just from a quick research of the part numbers, it does seem that the uh, 2010 could be a slightly bit different. Um, it does have a different part number versus the 2011 to 2015, but still should be similar, if not the exact same process. So, fifth gen Camaro, 2010 to 2015 window regulator. So, let's get into it now. All right, guys, in the car, key to the on position. You see the window is up, but we hit it. It's obviously not doing anything. You can hear it crinkling and crackling behind the door, so I believe the cabling behind here is what's all tied up in the motor itself, and we just decided to get the whole regulator with the motor to do the whole job, so Let's go ahead, get this passenger door off, and we'll get into the disassembly and assembly of replacing this window motor. Now. All right, so first thing here is, of course, we're gonna be taking the door panel off. So I'm gonna start right here. You can pop this little rubber covering right here, kind of like the door grab spot right here. And when you get that out, it reveals a T30 Torx, okay? So if you can't get that out with your hand, you can take like a little plastic pry and pop it up, but you should be able to push it out of the way with your hand so i have a t30 here on a small impact fire that right out all right so we got our t30 out and we're going to go ahead and move on to our door handle right here so if you see behind the door handle there's a little piece of plastic and you can see it's kind of scratched up if you have the correct tool like this little pick you can sneak behind here and pop it out without damaging anything so have a little right angle pick it's all you would need and that would then might be hard to see but it's going to reveal a seven mil bolt right there so after you pop that plastic piece out it will reveal that seven mil seven mil here on an impact same deal we're going to get this out at least i'll try to <laughs> there we go get that thing on out of there and now we have a few more uh, seven mil bolts we need to remove in order to get the door panel off. So if you come to the bottom of the door, there is one right here towards the end. And you have another one right here more towards the speaker. So we're going to go ahead and fire those two uh, seven mils out and we'll get those out right now. Got that one. Next one right there. All right out. All right, so we got our two lower seven mils out. Like I said, we had a few more, so we do have one more right there, which is in the inner part of the door panel. You can see it pretty clearly. Fire that bad boy out. And now we have all four of the seven mils out. So we had the one here, two on the bottom, one here. All four seven mils are out. And now everything retaining this door is off. And if you see, I just barely pulled it and popped the door panel right off. And that is because of these clips here. They are bent. It's not much I could do about them. They're just molested prior to me ever being on this thing. So, you know, you can start pulling this door panel off. Mine came from the top, but you could start pulling it from the bottom here. These plastic clips are very cheap. They might break. So be careful. They don't like coming off. It is a Chevy, so. All right, so I got one clip holding me, and there we go, popped it out. So I got the panel off, as you can see. Your panel is now completely off. And all we have here, if you look, it's kind of hard for me to record and hold this at the same time, but we got a couple connections here of course, retaining everything. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect this green cable holding the door handle in. So that's what's retaining the door handle. And then this just has a little ball on it that slides right into there. So in 
and then do the same thing to get it out. So pop it right back out. There we go, that's out. We have our harnesses here, switch harness, and this will be the lock harness. Just little tabs. Obviously, just press them in and pull it out. And then the last cable here is to our tweeter. Now, what you can do to make this easier on yourself is you could just pull up on the tweeter and then just pop it out, like you know, out of the door panel itself. Little black tab here, pop it out, and then we have the door panel completely off. So here is our door panel. Here is what's waiting behind it for us. So there we go. Got the door panel off. As you can see, this is all molested as well. But now that we've got the door panel off, let's go ahead and get into the actual disassembly of the window regulator. All right, so we got the door panel off. As you saw, now we have this black cover here, which is essentially covering up everything we need to get to. So we need to peel this back. It's kind of just like almost hot glued on. Getting this back on is uh, probably going to be all but impossible, but you know, we really don't have a choice. Unfortunately, window functionality is more important than this cover. So we'll definitely try to get it back on, but it's really not designed to want to. I mean, look at this. This is like, you know, silly putty. It's ridiculous. But that's beside the point. I might be able to fold this down. I think that's what I'm going to do to at least keep that bottom intact so we don't completely destroy this thing. So now that we have that, you know, cover off and it's revealing everything we need to get to, we can start disassembling this. So you can see there is the motor right there. There is a bracket of the regulator, a bracket of the regulator. See, it's just a decent amount going on here. And, uh, should be able to see maybe what's going on with this thing yeah look at this <laughs> there is the issue this is all yeah <laughs> yeah it's completely completely dis you know disassembled this just came off in its entirety so yeah it looks like this broke the cable you can see it's all frayed that is our issue it's the entire thing so it's a good thing we got the whole uh regulator with everything so there's our issue guys so that is why it's doing what it's doing so let's go ahead and get this thing out all right so we're going to go ahead and start with removing the window glass also if you look here there's a 10 mil in that hole you can see me moving it that's one and if we come to the other side by the door lock you can see the other one in that hole all right so two 10 mils we're going to go ahead and fire those out I'm sorry for the sun glare guys, not much I can do, it's just in a bad spot right now, but we got to get this done, so fortunately we're going to have to deal with it, but alright, got that out, it's going to be easiest if you have a magnet to get that out, so I have a magnet here, pull the 10 out, so we got that 10 out of the hole, alright, so let's go ahead and get to this back one here, uh, it's going to be hard to say trying to get you guys in there not bust my ass while doing it got it all right hold on all right guys 10 mil out of the back retaining hole as well so now this glass should be pretty free um, let's see here all right, guys, I put the camera down there for you for a moment because this was getting loose, so you should be able to almost finagle it out. And there we go. Glass is out. It might get a little stuck back here. Um, right after I took that out, that bolt out, I felt some of the tension. I pulled it and it moved, so I did get to slide on out. So glass is out. Let's get the regulator out. All right, guys, no more glass. We got the two 10 mils retaining the glass in, pulled it straight out. So now we're concerned with getting the regulator out. So there are a few things holding this in here. So we have the 10 mil right here. Sorry about that glare. Like I said, the sun is there. It's hard to avoid, but 10 mil right here. Small one, note that small one right there for the actual motor. We have a 10 mil nut on this upper part be careful with that because i'm sure it's going to want to go falling off magnet is going to help you with this job immensely and i already dropped the 10 mil down there and i got it back so 
definitely would suggest a magnet. We've got our other 10 mil nut on this upper part here on the corner. Got that. I'm gonna do the same thing. Get a magnet. Got it. Okay. So we have all three of those out, and now we got to go under the door to get the last two. All right, guys. So you can probably see I am on the ground on the outside of the door. Now, if we come underneath of the door here, there's going to be these two rubber rectangles. So there's one obviously right here at the back of the door. And then if we follow that to the front of the door, there's another one right here. Underneath of these, it's going to reveal another 10 mil nut, as you can see. So I literally just pulled that out with my hand. Show you on this back one again. There is the rubber rectangle there. Literally just get your finger behind it. It should pop right out. It's really not that hard. All right, so once you got those out, obviously we're revealing the 10 mil. So let's go ahead and fire both of these 10 mil nuts. So I got this back one here. Got that one, and then we'll just get that front one. And then we'll have both of these 10 mils out. And there it is. Got that bad boy out of there. And both of our 10 mils now on the bottom lining of the door are out. All right, guys, we got all of our 10 mils out now that retain the regulator. You do want to note how it's ran, you know, take a picture or just, a, you know, visually inspect, get an idea how it's ran. Obviously, ours is broken, but this ran to the spring you see right here. So just get a little visual. Now, it's going to be the fun part. Let's go ahead and get this regulator out of the door. So as you know, we took the 10 mil here out push it back I just push the stud back 10 mil push the stud back and now this is free as is this one all right and now that we got those pushed back you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here so you got another one of these lines that's running across the top you see we have a plastic retainer here and a plastic retainer here holding these rubber uh, lines in probably can just push it in like that pop it out honestly it really doesn't even matter if you break these because the new ones have uh new tabs on it as it should this one's going to be a little tighter so i'm just going to take a pick here press the top tab down press the bottom one in and, yep there we go so there we go that's popped out see we didn't break the tabs but this just touching it took a, a, a chunk out of it so this, this is just cheap crap man they don't make stuff well anymore guys this is all meant to fail they want you to have to spend money on these cars these days so what i'm going now is pulling this thing out of its position our goal is to get it to come out of this section here okay so you can see that's the bottom coming out so the bottom is obviously right there with that stud let's pull this part out and there we go there is the one part of the back of the regulator now let's see if we can sneak the rest of this guy out here now this is i believe going to be held in still by a harness which is holding it up and it is so if you look let me get a flashlight for you there's a harness right there you see that harness right there all right we're gonna have to get that bad boy out now i'm gonna have to turn this light off so i can do it and probably not going to see it too well but you can see my thumb i'm pressing the tab pull it right off all right so this is the harness i just press the tab pull it right off all right so now that that's off i think we should be free of obstruction to hopefully pull this out of its positioning here let's see yep yep there we go Kind of just push the back. All right. This thing is bulky. Just going to take some finagle in here. This is really stupid. To be honest, it's going to be fun getting the new one in. But I think we're about there, guys. Oh my God, we're stuck on the bottom of the door. There we go. Jesus. All right. Here it is, guys. All right, so we got the old regulator out. Here is the new one. And as you can see, that's actually intact. 
unlike our old one here. So yeah, we can clearly see what failed on this thing. I mean, everything just fell apart. This one is nice and new. Hopefully it lasts a little longer than that one did. This is an original GM um, regulator, which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but um, this is the passenger side. That is the part number right there. Um, the part number for the driver, if you're doing the driver, ends in 263. So the only difference is the two turns into a three for the driver side. This is the passenger side, straight from Rock Auto. It's where this uh, GM part came from. So pretty cool they had it, but that is our new regulator, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can sneak this thing into the door. All right, guys, new motor and regulator here. This is how it's gonna go into the vehicle. As you can see, that's the front. This is the back. There is our stud that pokes out of the top the one that shoots to the bottom of the door. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to feed this thing as is and see if we can get it to fall into place. All right, guys, I got you on the best possible angle I felt like I could find. So hopefully you can see what's going on here, or at least get an idea of how this is gonna go in. So just kind of gonna try to do it exactly how it came out, which I can't say I remember 100%, but let's see if we can finagle this thing in here, guys. very stupid not a fan of the design I must say <laughs> oh right there yeah all right so that one's kind of falling into place let's see if we can sneak this one up and in yeah all right it wasn't horrible I was being a brat about it. Alright. Let's see if I get this in the bottom here. I did. Now will the top stud align? It will. I think I got it, guys. Make sure I can feel that nut coming through the, or the stud coming through the bottom there. Yep, I do. Yeah, it feels good. All right, so now I'm gonna try to ease this in and just lightly get it started. I'm not trying to lock it in yet. I just wanna get it started just to keep that in position. And I got it going. So we got that one in position. Now let's see if we can do the harder side here. At least in my opinion. It's a lot bulkier with the motor and everything assembled on there. like it's going to be getting this thing into the bottom hole and I got it there you go not the end of the world feel her out at the bottom here yep that feels right Let's see if we can find the stud stud lined right up there we go all right we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this uh, 10 mil nut here on this stud as well like I said just lightly getting it on just want to get it started I'm not trying to tighten it down yet I want to get all these in and make sure everything's good before I fire these down that's good our small 10 mil over here for the motor is actually lining up so I'm gonna go ahead and get that one going as well like I said just loosely starting it I'm not going crazy and tighten it down just want to get it going in there so it's kind of keeping it in the position where it's supposed to be all right so that's good these are pretty much going to fall into place, which is our plastic uh, clips. Let's go ahead and pop that one in here. We've got this upper one here. Should pop in. I hope. I'm getting blinded by the sun. I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. It's in. All right. So that's all ran, and it feels pretty good nice and tight I don't feel any obstructions or any twisting or coiling of any of the wires all right so now that I got these two started we got the 10 mil here started I'm gonna go ahead and get the two started from the bottom and then we're gonna see how this is you know looking and then we'll get everything uh, back assembled all right guys we're on the bottom of the door something I want to bring you in so you can see real quick is if you look in this hole you can see where the nut was residing 
from the factory originally. So you can see that that stud is not really in place. I want to go ahead and push it and then we'll see if it goes back into place. But you want to get that obviously about in the same spot that it was. So yeah, I got it moved right where that is. And what I want to do is just finger tight that uh, nut right there, 10 mil, into the spot, and then I'll tighten it down with the impact right where it belongs. All right, guys, so we got that lower corner locked in. We got the 10 mil secured right where it was. So both of our uh, 10 mils on the bottom behind the rubber grommets on the bottom of the door are now in. So we do have our remaining three, which is the one 10 mil here, and then the two nuts on the studs as well. So let's go ahead and get these locked in. Should be good to go. That's good. I'll get this one right here. All right, that's a small one. And then we just got the one here at the back. All right, so we got all of the 10 mils now re retaining the regulator locked in. So this is nice and tight. We got our plastic clips here locked in and the regulator seems all but good to go. One thing we do have to do and do not forget would be plugging in the harness so as you can see here is our harness should be able to feel it out get it right back to where it was initially i'm on it and i heard it lock in when i did that so plugged it in i don't know if you guys heard that little <laughs> but yeah she's good to go so harness is now back secure plugged in we have power so now that we got the harness plugged in we can go ahead and get the window back in because our regulator is all installed. Now, one thing we need to note here is this did not come in a good position and not, definitely not in the position that we took it out, of course, because when we took it out, the window was up. We went through these holes. You can see there is the window mount right there. It's actually got a new 10 mil in there, which you can leave. Um, and the other one, you can't even see it. It's, uh, it's right here. You can see it it's behind this so obviously we need to get it to right here so what i'm going to do is go ahead and uh put the switch back on we're going to give it power and we're going to raise this up and hopefully it'll bring us right to where we need to be in order to get those um holes to line up all right guys like i said we need to get this back up into the position you can't move it manually so what i've done here is i got the door panel back i just plugged into the harness of the uh switch so the switch is plug back up you can see it's moving don't go crazy with it we just want to get it right to the position where we have access i think i'm about right i'm gonna come a hair more oh it's as high as it goes there we go <laughs> so i got it all the way up guys that last hit got it right to where it needs to be so you can plug this up with no window that's what i did to get those back aligned so plugged up got those back aligned to the holes so now we can get the window back in all right, so I tried to get you guys back into the best uh, position I could as far as camera. Now this is the fun part, seeing if we can guide this bad boy back into position. Is it gonna be fun? Probably not, but I think we can do it. All right, so we're, uh, I feel like we're close. I'm not so sure. Uh, actually, that's about right. I think it's the rear holding me up. Um, I think I got it, guys. I just gotta sneak this side in the front back in. Be careful of the rubber, too. So I have a tool, like a small plastic pry tool like this. I'm gonna, you know, Pull this rubber back out because it is kind of under it and you don't want to mess your rubber up here i'm actually pushing it down there we go All right guys, I think I got the front belt locked. And it doesn't go through anything on the front. There is no hole. But on the rear, of course, we have that hole that needs to slide in. There we go. I think we heard it snap into place, guys. 
So let me feel it. Oh yeah, that front's in. And the rear. We're in. It's in. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that thing's in, guys. We're good to go. All right, yeah, guys, we are locked in. So, grab the camera here. Let's see if we can go ahead and get these to snuggle in here for our window mounts. So, we got this one. That one's good. And then we got this guy here. Just be careful with that guys make sure you're locked in because if you're not in that hole you're breaking the window <laughs> all right so there we go guys window is in locked in regulator is in we are good to go as far as everything being mounted i think everything is fine now it's the moment of truth so before you go ahead and put all this back together we need to make sure it works so i'm gonna grab the door panel again we're gonna connect our switch back up and we're gonna go ahead and test it out all right so i have the window switch plugged back up here with the connector and we already confirmed that this worked you know power wise because obviously we moved the mounts on the regulator up so we can lock it in onto the window windows installed but i do want to see it go up and down before i put this all back together and you know make sure it's working so last thing we want to do is put everything back nice clean and then you got to take it back apart or something's not right so grab the key here put it to the on position all right guys key to the on position let's see yep i didn't want to get crazy with it try it a few times let's go all the way down with it yeah yeah, I'm gonna do it one more. Yeah, buddy. She's looking good, guys. I think we might be right there. So um, let me uh, go ahead and button this back up and then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, one thing I just want to quick note real quick is the ratio from here to here. So I noticed when I had this fully up after we just tested it, that it looked like it was, um, it was about like right where my fingernail is. So um, I did look over on the other side, so open that door you can see that one's a hair under all right so i just straight mimic that side so what i did is i just loosened up the 10 mil pulled it up a hair it does have a little bit of playroom i held it in place when i had it right where i wanted so i held it and then tightened that 10 mil back up same thing for this one so once i noticed you know it was a little bit down i unloosened that and then pulled it up a hair and what i went for reference off of was this on the other side so if you look at the positioning from the outside of that on the other side, you can kind of get a good reference point. So I just loosened that up. And that's about exactly where the window looks like it should be. So we have our window completely locked in now. It tests fine. Everything is good to go. We know it works. We know the regulator is functioning. So now it's a matter of getting this all back together. So let's go ahead and get this reassembled. All right, guys. I did plug the switch back up on the door panel, the window switch, and I did uh, drop the window. So I think it's easier to put door panels on with the window down. So we got the window down for the door panel reinstallation since we have the opportunity to do so now. So we got to put this uh, cover back up and I did try to press it back up and this is just bone dry and it's not going to stick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue, put in some of the spots real quick where it put in some spots real quick where it could use it and you know i'm not going crazy just put it in a couple spots i'm just doing it to give it some more hold so i got it you can kind of see some of the spots where it goes um sorry i gotta get this up guys if the camera works not the best that's why it's got to go up with the uh hot glue while it's hot and make sure you don't forget that <laughs> all right so i did like an idiot forget to pull the uh door uh, mechanism here back through because so i was worried about getting that hot glue back up so make sure you get this through so i just slightly peeled it back down put it back up i got this through so we're good to go um now everything's aligned this covers all back on and it's ready for installation of the door panel so i have the door panel here we're gonna go ahead and connect our harnesses up so remember we have the lock harness the switch harness and the harness for the tweeter right there so they all got to go up we got to reconnect this to the door handle itself 
and then you know from there we're just pretty much popping the panel back on and getting the bolts back in so let's go ahead and get this thing on all right guys these were what was molested they were all bent down so i tried to bend them back up i took them off individually and this was actually the only one that was good so it should be nice and sturdy and straight so i try to get these all aligned the best as possible for this door panel to have the best possible uh insulation with it so let's go ahead and get our panel back on i'm gonna go ahead and connect our um green ball right there back to the handle we'll get this harness routed and then we'll get this thing back on all right guys after fiddling with it there it is it just slides into place we got our door handle back all i gotta do is get my harnesses plugged up and then we're gonna get this door panel back on all right guys so we got the door handle connected back up we got both of the plugs into the lock into the switch and then i also have the tweeter mounted back on the door panel so now all we got to do is get this thing back up and aligned we do got to get that lock back through the hole which i'm gonna do now then we just got to get it aligned and pressed in all right guys i got all these uh metal tabs actually i think in the correct spot aligned as best as i can so now i'm gonna start going around the body like a door panel and we're gonna press in our clips should get us back onto the door all right this is kind of pressing me off on that uh metal tab there so let me make sure we're good on these clips yep there we go she should be good guys so yep it's on all right door panel is on so now i'm just going to start firing our uh bolts back in to retain the panel and then we'll be good to go all right guys so i'm just going to start with my seven mils here at the seven mil here on this top corner that one in nice and secure remember we have the seven mil behind the actual handle plastic uh thing that we took out sneak that one in good and since we're here we can go ahead and pop that plastic piece back in it literally just falls back in exactly how you took it out all right perfect and now i want to take the two seven mils on the bottom get those in and then all we have left is our Torx. All right, guys, we got the two bottom seven mils. So all four seven mils securing the door panel in are in. We have our T30 Torx here that just fell off of my uh, T30 there, but it's all good. Got that thing locked in. There we go. And it's good to go holding this on let's go ahead and put our rubber cover back in there so there we have it guys door panel is good to go everything is back in all the screws are back in we got a regulator installed we want to go ahead and check the door make sure she functions I recommend doing it with the window down worst case scenario if that didn't work you could try to open it from the outside handle the door is good functioning how she should so we're gonna go ahead and test our window out and make sure she's all good all right guys key in the ignition here we go auto up auto down she's looking good to go so we have completely fixed this issue guys window regulator and motor was our issue so i hope this helped with doing the window regulator on your fifth gen camaro make sure you stay tuned because you never know when i might be wrenching on this thing again and until next time guys <laughs> it worked